TheMarshallMan.com. Right, so I have more questions that have been left in the comments section of the previous videos. Okay. So the first question is, for the first step of releasing contractive tension and allowing the fascia to breathe, do you recommend or teach standing practices for this purpose? Well, this practice can be in, in uh, any posture, but for beginners, uh, it is recommended to practice in a standing posture. And once you get it, then you can you can practice it in any posture, sitting, you know, even lying is possible. Yeah. So it is possible to release the contractive tension by using standing postures. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, as I said, for beginners, that's the first step and the, the, that's the first practice. The 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 importance of standing is this. Um, but you have to you have to. By standing, you have to connect your feet, open your joints, and align all the way to the antenna. And then, once you can balance the law of gravity and counter gravity, that is, your skeleton structure is uh, is uh, centralized. Okay, and then you just release your muscles like, as if it's a clothes. Hang on the hang on the hanger, the skeleton structure, and then you just uh, allow this uh, law of gravity to release your body weight and together with the tensions, you know, downward to the ground. So in this, in this practice, the, <clears throat> the inner, inner meaning and the purpose of the practice is actually to make room for your energy to flow first through releasing of the muscle tensions and uh, making room for the fascia to breathe. So this, uh, this, uh, this uh, body tension, you know, they will fall and once, they, once you're released, they will release into the ground, and uh, at the same time you are stepping on top, on, on top of the ground, and then align the joints all the way to the top of the head. the The purpose is not to to really uphold the antenna. Antenna is just a, a visual instrumentation. The purpose is, is to keep this energy circulation, you know, in you. On the front, it's called ren mai. That is, your 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 muscle tensions are released. And your fascia can, the fascia is being released uh, from its uh, redundant, you know, work, uh, over, uh, overworked uh, conditioning, okay, through contraction. So once you can release uh, the muscle tension so your fascia can breathe, then your body weight will release into the ground, okay? And by aligning the counter force through the joints, then from joint to joint through your bone marrows, this counterforce will travel through your bone marrow all the way to the top of the head. This is called Du Mai. Okay? So the purpose of the practice is to release and enhance this, uh, this uh, primal energy in circulation, you know, inside of your body. Okay? This is the ultimate purpose for any, any uh, standing practice and rooting. Okay? Make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So this feeds me into the next question, what somebody has asked. They, they wanted to know that once you reach that stage and you have this circuit going, yes. where you have the counter force coming up the back and you're releasing tension down the front, do you still need to continue practicing standing meditation at that point? No, no. You can then extend this uh, internal energy circulation into any posture, okay? Instead of invoking force and the muscles, you just uh, align your posture, you know, in a totally relaxed state, so that your your internal energy have the potential and possibility to begin to flow, and you just uh, extend this internal awareness into any posture. So you just uh, you just uh, realign and connect this energetic uh, loop, you know, to any contact point, and then by projecting your mind on their tension, you can modulate their energy in the body. Okay, so this is the next step, you know, postures, okay, postures, then from postures, they evolve into motion applications. Okay, this is how it works, this is how it sends. So in the process, uh, you harmonize yourself with your, with your energy body, okay, into oneness, okay. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, the, the purpose of the practice, okay, the first step, the major, major breakthrough. You become the energy body, you know, not as an individual.
Right, so once the, the standing meditation has fulfilled its purpose, then there's no need to continue standing in yes. that case. Every moment, every moment you are in the state. Only when you don't get it, you have to repeat, repeat, repeat. But once you get it, it is not about the posture, it's not about standing. It is about this, uh, this uh, activation of this energy, energy circulation, you know, the awakening of your energy body inside of yourself in a form of self-awareness. Okay, so that leads me on to the next question. Um, somebody has asked, how often should one cultivate internal energy and what would be the most important daily practice? This is, a, I think this is where most people get stuck. You know, the, uh, the, the picture, <clears throat> the true picture is this. You are already the, uh, the energy body in animation. Okay, after the animation, you are the energy body. Okay, you already are the energy body. It is the mind that which blocks you or distorts you, you know, from the sensing of it, okay? So, uh, the purpose of the practice is not for you to, to increase or enhance your, 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 the, the body energy. That's a, that's a misunderstanding, you see? So, <clears throat> that's why the rope map, once you really get the picture and you harmonize with your, with your sensations, you harmonize with your energy body, and that that's it you 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 are this energy you already are the energy in animation okay you cannot increase it or decrease it what's what you can increase is through through your body energy you know through through the intake of food okay but you cannot increase or decrease the the mental energy frequency or vibration you know it is all it is automatic it's autonomous okay <coughs> so <coughs> If, if, if you have the idea that you, you want to practice so that you can enhance your energy, no, you, you're going to, the, you're, go, you're fall, falling prey to your mental imagination. All you have to do is to release your mind. Once your posture is in place, your fascia is energized, then you have to learn to you know, deflame your mind or dissolute your mind. And once you can dissolute your mind, you know, your mindscape will become different, your perspective will become different, you know. And this uh, internal energy dimension will then uh, open up and emerge from inside of yourself. You ju you, you're, you're just aware, you know? Make sense? Okay, you already are the energy body. You know, there's an there's a astral body, there's an astral energy, there's a body energy, there's a mental energy. After the infusion of this primal energy into the body, by functionality, they are already in separation. Okay, so the purpose of the practice is, is to to stop the stop this uh, uh, diversification and try to revert and harmonize those three energies into the state of oneness. I think this is uh, this is the purpose of the practice. Okay. This is obviously what you've explained before in the previous videos, that the energy is already there. You are the energy. Yes. It's just a case of tapping into something that already exists. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is also the essence of uh, self-transcendence, uh, or uh, as per the various sources of uh, spiritual, spiritual contexts. You know, self-transcendence, self-transformation. It, it's about the shifting of identity from this involuntary individual uh, individual uh, human beings you release that step back in and then you are the energy body and you can feel it and sense it yourself okay but mind you that's uh, that's the first uh, first step of the quantum leap okay and uh, actually this art can tap deeper way deeper than we can possibly imagine you know TheMarshallMan.com